Okay, in this video we're going to go through the process of creating and calling a list of values, an LOV. And that's an Oracle term and it's, a, it's an Oracle thing uh, for popping up a list of values. So let's take a look at the form that I want to add an LOV to. I have got this form and it's, I've got my employees and all my employees are a member of a department. So if I go back to SQL Plus, you see that I have my depth table with my departments in them and my, my EMP table with uh, my employees in them. So my employee has an employee number, an employee name, and a department number. So what I want to do is I want to have a button that I press right here that when I press this button it brings up a list of departments and then I can select the department and put the department number in this department number field and the department name in the department name field. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my object navigator and I want to create an LOV. So I'm going to right click on LOV and I'm going to bring up the LOV wizard. And so what it says here is I want how to create a record group. And I want to create a new record group based on a query. So I click Next. Now what I want to do here is I want to enter an, an SQL statement that creates the um, LOV. So I'm going to type in select depth no, comma, depth name from depth. Okay, and uh, I don't need to put a semicolon at the end of it. And I, what I'll do is I'll hit check syntax, and it says the SQL query is correct. So now I've built a SQL query that's going to select the department number and the department name from depth. <clears throat> so I hit the next button, and I here are my two record group columns. So I want to include both those columns in the LOV. So I'll hit uh, the select all, and then I'll click next. And now, what I want to do here is when I click on one of these records of the LOV, I want to return the value. So you'll see that I've got department number and it's 95 and department name and it's 334 pixels wide. Now I'm going to click on return value and click the lookup return item field. So when I click on this, I want department number to go back to the field in the EMP block called department number, depth now. And then when I click on depth name, or when I click on that record, when I hit depth name, I want to put it to this non-base table field called depth name. Okay, so now I've uh, I've returned. I'm gonna when I click on this, I'm gonna return these two values back to my form. So now I click next, and it asks me, do I want to give it a title? So I'm gonna say yes. I want it to say departments. And at this point, I'm going to let it just be the normal width and the normal height. And I'm going to let forms position it automatically. These are optional fields that you can uh, play with and get used to and, and, and work with differently. So now I'm going to click Next. And I'm just going to let it retrieve zero rows at a time, which is actually, it will retrieve a number of rows um, that I need. And I click Next. And now what I want to do is show these on the screen. So it says you are returning values from your LOV to the following items. You may assign your LOVs to some or all of these items. Which of these items do you want to assign to your LOV? Meaning, which of these items do I want to actually see? So I want to see them both on the screen. Now I click Next, and I click Finish. <coughs> and now I have created LOV8. Now again, um, I say this a lot. Um, need to change the names of these. So I'm going to call this LOV, and I'm talking to the, I'm bringing up the depth table, so I'm going to call it LOV depth. Okay, now I've created this list of values. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to call it from my form. So I'm going to go over here to this button. So what I want to do is when I click on this button, I want to bring up the LOV. So I'm going to right click on there, and I'm going to click Smart Triggers, and then I'm in the When Button Pressed Trigger. Okay, and that's going to bring up my PL SQL editor. So now here's the, how I call an LOV. So I, I got to declare a variable, a Boolean variable. So I'm going to declare success Boolean. And then I'm going to say begin success colon equal show underscore LOV. And then in single ticks, um, LOV depth, which is the name that I gave my LOV, and then end. And so now I'll compile it. Shows that it compiled fine. And now I'm ready to run my form. So what's going to happen is, is when I click on this button, it's going to bring up this list of values. So now let me run my form. Click program run form. Okay. 
Okay, so now the form has appeared. Now, I'm going to add a new employee. So I'm going to empl add employee one, myself, and now I'm going to go over here. Now, I don't know my department numbers, so I'm going to click here. It's going to bring up the list of values, which is kind of a crazy size. So I'm going to resize it here. Now, these are all things that I can specify uh, when I create the LOV. So these are my three departments. So I want to make myself part of the marketing department. I click on marketing, and now you notice it returned the value 2 to marketing. So let me do this again. You bring up my LOV. There's my list of values, and I want to add this user. I want to add to the construction department, and it's returned there. And now I can hit save and save the records, and it shows two um, records have been applied and saved. So basically, I very simply created a pop-up screen where I can select data from the, the depth table and put it in the uh, columns for this other block. So that's the basics of creating and launching a list of values in Oracle Forms.